let's continue with our grammar topic in the previous video we discussed uh, the topic have auxiliary and main verb and now we're going to the next topic it's have or have got when do we use have got and when have in british english have got is used quite often in other areas it's common to use the main verb have affirmative sentences have i have a brother have got i've got a brother you have a sister you've got a sister he has a cat he's got a cat she has a dog she's got a dog it has bluetooth it's got a bluetooth we have books we've got books you have a nice room you've got a nice room they have pets they've got pets have got is often used uh, in it's contracted from even in written language negations i don't have a brother i haven't got a brother i uh, you don't have a sister you haven't got a sister he doesn't have a cat he hasn't got a cat Questions. Do I have time? Have I got time? Do you have pets? Have you got pets? Does he have a computer? Has he got a computer? Does she have a mobile phone? Has she got a mobile phone? There can be negations and questions too. Don't you have a brother? Haven't you got a brother? Be careful. The contracted forms the or as are only used with have got, not with have. I've got a new mobile phone. He's got a new car. Don't use an auxiliary with have got, only with have. Be careful with using negations. Have you got a garden? Do you have a pet? We haven't got a brother. Have cannot always be substituted with have got. You can only substitute have with have got when you talk about possession and relationships. I've got a brother, I have a brother. Wrong, I had got an accident. I had an accident. Wrong, he had got lunch. Cart, we had lunch. In American English, have is dropped in informal speech like in the following example. We've got a problem, we got a problem. Thanks for watching. It was um, have or have got an English grammar.